can I just have your attention because shh, 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 this is seriously the highlight of the afternoon and it really does deserve your respect. Would you welcome back the chairman of the Lansdowne Club, Peter Brennan. Thank you, David. Now, can you hear me at the back? <laughs> First of all, I would like to recognize two of our oldest members who passed away in the last 12 months. Both were 93 and both spent most of their lives in public service. Father John McSweeney came to Australia as a missionary just after the last World War spending time in post-war Japan. He never missed this lunch, and in fact, he was here last year. And it was, he had told me the story of the Irish priest who was thundering at his parishioners from the pulpit about the importance of being good and preparing for death when he said, someone in this parish is going to die today. And at that, there was a wee bloke in the front laughing his head off. And the priest said, what's so funny? And he said, I don't live in this parish. <laughs> so that was Father John. <laughs> Margaret Whitlam died last year on St. Patrick's Day. She was an Australian living legend and very, very proud of her Irish roots. Margaret didn't choose her life for public service. It came with Marion Gough. And she also attended this lunch each year with Goff and was the inaugural recipient of this award. <laughs> Goff actually is the oldest living member of the club. The Chairman's Award is a presentation made each year to a member of the Lansdowne Club who's made a significant contribution over many years in their chosen field of work. Today's recipient would be known to all here and is another Australian living legend. A Sydney cider with a strong Irish background, his extensive body of work has been recognized around the world. He's an author, an actor, a Republican, and a tragic manly supporter. He won the Miles Franklin Award twice and in 1982 was awarded the Booker Prize for his masterpiece, Schindler's Ark. The book, the book was converted into a film starring another Irish legend, Liam Neeson, and the film won Best Picture Oscar and earned Steven Spielberg his first Oscar as a director. In 1998, he published The Great Shame. This non-fiction work lo looked at the Irish in the New World and the Old through the eyes of those transported to Australia for gestures of social and political dissent. In 1983, he was made an officer of the Order of Australia. And in March 2009, Prime Minister Rudd gave an autographed copy of his autobiography, Lincoln, to President Barack Obama as a state gift. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of this year's Lansdowne Club Chairman's Award is Tom Keneally. That's the one. Just need the trophy. Well, it's bigger than the Euro trophy.